Take your seats. We're ready to start the last session. That will go rather quickly. And uh, I really appreciate everybody staying for this. We're going to start with our student awards. So would all the students, if any of you are still here, <laughs> please, uh, please come in and take your seats. Thank you. OK. All right. So this is, uh, this is probably a bigger crowd than I thought we would have at this time of day. I really appreciate after this long week that so many of you have stayed here for this. Uh, we have a wonderful closing keynote uh, talk by Phil Bland. Uh, but before we do that, we are going to give out the poster awards. And Brad Bailey is going to help me with this. Brad was actually the one who corralled everyone and, and, uh, and helped with the decision making in a big way. So uh, Brad, thank you for that. And uh, so, Brad, why don't you, why don't you announce sure. the winners? How about that? Sure. So, uh, so basically, we had uh, judging of 25 posters this year, uh, which actually is slightly up from previous years. It's fantastic to see. Do we have any more? Who Can we just see a quick show of hands of all the students who are still in the room? Oh, oh look at that. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, thank, yeah, <laughs> yes, thanks for staying. Um, we definitely appreciate all of the student award uh, poster competition participation people. <laughs> That's a lot of peace. People who gave oral talks. Yes. And so we, we would also like to recognize all the students that gave oral talks. And this may not be great for you this year. However, we have discussed, and next year we will, prob we will be instituting a best student paper overall. Uh, presentation and include oral presentations within the judging. So. Uh, so that said, uh, if you gave an oral this year, come back and give us another oral next year. Um, with that said, the students were judged based on overall impact to the field, the, the quality of the science, and presentation. And so with that, okay, drum roll, please. Yes, drum roll. Here, let me hold you want to hold this? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And if any of you are here, come on up. Oh, we don't have the camera person. Could you take yeah, great. Right. So if any if any of you are present, come up and we'll take a picture together. And if not, we will just let the person know who won by email. Sure. Uh, oh yes, and so uh, the winners of the of the, all of these uh, will be receiving a travel award in the amount of one thousand uh, dollars. That goes for first, second, third, and honorable mention place. All all the same. Uh, so hopefully you will get a hold of us and, and use that money to travel to another meeting because if you travel to our meeting, we have to report it within our own paperwork. Okay. They're not going to understand. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and with the place of honorable mention, the poster excavation depths as indications of magnesium spinel formation via impact melting. The first author is Michaela Garnier. Who I believe is one of David Crane's high schools. Is that correct? Andy, Andy, I know, and I didn't find Andy, so I believe that David Crane would like to come up and oh, accept Andy. this. Andy. Oh, hey, Andy. Hey, guess who just come on up? You're one of your high schools. Just one honorable mention. Oh. Yay! Yay. <laughs> so. These, uh, these high school students are part of a program that's run out of David Kring's CLSC team. Is that one of you guys? Yeah. Okay. okay. You will take a picture on yeah. their behalf. Okay. Hold yeah. up the... <laughs> Just real quick, he's going to talk about the high school. Program. So I'm prepared to give a speech. Uh, so our high school program we've had for a number of years now, uh, starting under NLSI and continuing under Survey. Uh, Ten teams from across the country. Teachers apply. We select teachers. They bring in students. Um, and they conduct their own research alongside a scientist advisor over the course of the school year over on Lunar or Asteroid Science. Uh, we're looking for advisors for this next school year. So if you would be interested or want to know some more information about being an advisor, uh, look for me and give me a shout. I'll love to talk to you about it. Thanks. 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 You're welcome. Okay, thank you. Dana? Yes. Yes. 
Uh, with the uh, with the award for third place in the poster, resolving the primary mechanism causing four fractured craters using Grail and Lola data, it's Mike Delmonico. <laughs> so this is another one of David King's team's high school students, and I must say that uh, we've been impressed with their high school presentations every single year. I think they've uh, they've consistently been in the top uh, top four or five for the last four or five years. Um, and that said, nobody knows during the judging process that these are high school students, and uh, and yet they consistently place in the in the top four or five. So we are incredibly impressed with the work that they're producing, and uh, we hope that they they continue to do so. So thanks again for all your leadership, Andy. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. You do you want another picture? <laughs> okay, someone could read. They, they'll, they'll want to see. They might yes. do that, yeah. Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jen, you're done. Okay. You can sit down now. All right. There you go. Okay, thank you. And in second place, with the poster, Apollo Alcep side observations of stair step flux profiles in the terrestrial magneto tail, Anastasia Newhart's. Thank you. <laughs> you want to do the last one? And in first place this year with the poster Modeling the Elcross Impact Plume Photo Dissociation and Sublimation of Water, Yasinth Punda. Thanks, everybody.